Hello, good afternoon. My name is Breach Connolly and I am the Strategic Applications Manager at Topan Photo Masks. I'd like you to introduce you today to our company and our products and show you how our products are enabling the photonics industry. Let me share. So, as I said, I'd like to introduce you to Topan Products and also to the Topan Company. We bring your idea from virtual to reality using augmented semiconductor imaging. And I'll tell you more why we, why we say that. And we say, if you can imagine it, Topan can image it for you. So Topan, Topan is a long established Japanese printing company and Topan Photomasks is a wholly owned subsidiary of the Topan parent company and has been involved in making photo masks for the semiconductor industry worldwide for many decades now, building experience with the evolving lithographic techniques throughout that period. Our main product and speciality is in the patterning and etching of quartz substrates. We do that by using state-of-the-art tooling in the most advanced clean room environments with repeatable quality standards at many locations worldwide. Here on the right of my first slide, you can see where some of our products are used today uh, for AR glass, in sensing devices, in biomedical industry, and also in holography. So, photo masks and Topan products enabling photonics. Um, our products line is just shown here. So we make photo masks, nano imprints. I'll come back to both of those and explain a little bit more. But we also have semiconductor packaging products, on-chip color filters, touch sensors. So if you were to look inside your smartphone, you would find many, many Topan products inside, for example. So let me move to photo masks. So photo masks. Photo masks have a variety of applications, but the majority are used and most well known in the microlithography process for semiconductors, as well as for photonic integrated circuits, PICs, optical devices, LCDs, MEMS, and many more applications. Here in the middle, we show how the mask is used, and usually with the reduction lens to transfer and reduce the image onto the silicon wafer or other substrate. And then more specific to the slick, the photonic industry, you can see some images here on the lower right where we show how the model photo mask is used to fabricate silicon photonic devices. In the case of the photo mask shown here, the glass or quartz substrate is coated with an absorbent material like chrome, for example, and the pattern is etched into the chrome and then um, projected onto the um, wafer substrate. Um, but photomask can also be used not just for transferring an image, but they can also be used as an optical element. And some examples are diffractive optical elements, um, beam splitters, optical gratings, for example. So then moving on to the NIL, a nano imprint uh, lithography master molds. Um, first, a short introduction to nano imprint lithography. This is a microfabrication technology using either UV or thermal methods that is used to transfer or imprint a pattern onto a substrate. So on the top right, you can see the, sub the substrate on which the pattern must be imprinted. The substrate is covered first with a resin and the imprinting mold has topography on it in order to imprint the pattern onto the substrate. Nil master molds are made by, uh, by etching into the quartz or a silicon mold substrate. And um, here I show more detail about the quartz master mold. So for quartz master mold, we start with a substrate that is covered with a hard mask layer. Usually this is a um, chrome, chrome layer of a defined thickness. And the chrome is then first patterned by using e-beam lithography to image down to 50 nanometer feature size. And the pattern is then etched into the quartz substrate itself. And then later the hard mask will be removed, the chrome hard mask will be removed, um, and we remain with the chromeless um, product. In the case of silicon molds, the, which are mainly used in thermal nano imprint method, there is this coating on the wafer acts as the hard mask layer. 
As regards capability, in the case of quartz molds, our capabilities of the order of 50 nanometers and edge depths are possible down to 1.5 microns. This is mainly done on a six inch square substrate. And these products are made and, uh, at our Dresden facility here in Europe. And for silicon molds, the capability is based on a 200 millimeter round wafer. Resolution capability is 100 nanometer for all features and edge depth down to three microns is possible. So you can see also here on the bottom right, the um, images of the various techniques and of the various products that we have on offer. So I hope I have made a short introduction to you of our products, the Photomass and Manila products. And I can hope you can appreciate how Topan's printing experience and industrialized state-of-the-art technology will bring your coating edge products into reality. We say, we offer to bring your in-lab prototype into production in a fully controlled quality manner. I thank you for your attention and please have a look at our websites and we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.